This video guide will show you how to combine accessories to get all of the stat bonus abilities as quickly as possible in Legaia 2. This includes accessory combination formulas as well as a guide to get through the beginning of the game at a low level. Use the index at any time to skip to specific parts of the guide. Now let's begin. The very first thing that you must do is to get the point card. This is in the Elder's Room in Knoll. If you're just starting the game, just go all the way to the right and go up. The first part of the game is too easy to mention, however the first real challenge is killing Elfin at level 7. You'll need these gears as well as a guard oil which can be found from a chest in Gale Canyon. You'll also want to have at least 20 large rice balls which can be bought in Knoll. With low defense and only 3 art slots, this battle is actually quite difficult, but can be won by playing defensively. Start with a boost oil and keep your HP high at all times, attack only when he gives you good openings. With some patience and luck, you will win the battle 10 minutes later and go to level 8, almost level 9. Our goal from this point is to be level 9 before fighting the next boss, which is Balkan. Reach level 9 before the battle so you'll have the 4 art slots, but don't fight any more battles than necessary. Balkan is an annoying battle, but he is not difficult. The main challenge comes from mustering the patience to sit through his long and annoying cutscenes. Balkan does eventually stop talking, so just be patient and stay healed up. The easiest way to lose this battle is forgetting to heal in an attempt to kill him faster. It's very important to keep Maya at full HP at all times. Eventually, Balkan will die, Maya will gain one level, and you will escape to Darakin. This is the first time that forging accessories with stat bonus abilities is available, however, it is not best to start yet. The problem is that at this time, the accessories sold by the accessory shop are too low level to be of good use. And on top of this, in order to get the full range of stat bonus accessories, some of these are not necessary to forge anyways. Our first objective upon reaching Darkin is to get enough money to combine accessories and buy supplies. Start by going to the junk store and buying a full set of armor for both Lang and Maya. Switch out their armors and then sell everything that you own. After this, you should have around 20,000 gold. Using this gold, buy 20 of each of these 4 items. Now go to the accessory store and buy 20 Gorum Hemp Cloth. Travel to Knoll and go to the weapon shop where you will buy 20 padded jackets. Back in Darakin, go to the weapon shop here to combine everything. Turn the padded jackets into leather chests and those into gorgeous jackets. This process takes a while and is very tedious, but is the only way to get enough money early on in the game without fighting. Doing this two or three times will give you the 100,000 gold you'll need for this next section. Our next goal is to get Kazan and get back to Darakin while staying as low level as possible. Once you have enough money, make two dodge charms and one guard ring. Equip a dodge charm to both Lang and Maya as well as a guard ring on Maya and don't forget to set the anticipation skill. Buy hard leather vest boots and power gloves for Lang at the weapon shop. Also, 50 heal powder, 10 heal leaves, and 30 flags of retreat from the item store. Now go through Mount Gale without fighting battles and use the point card on the forced battle with Golduke. Buy supplies from Kojiro including a faceplate for Lang before heading out. Also, make sure the point card has at least 3000 points. Now make your way all the way up the mountain using flags of retreat if you run into battle. Make sure to keep Lang fully healed in case of ambush. Since Lang is such low level, we'll have to use the point card to kill the mountain morgue, but don't worry, it's quite easy. 
Just make sure to wait until after the scene with Galia to use it. Winning this battle will put Lang at level 11, but there's nothing we can do about that. After leaving this cave, there's a forced battle. Now we don't want Lang and Maya to gain EXP, so let them die before winning the battle with Kazan. If you change Maya and Lang's equipment for this like I did, make sure to re-equip them after the battle. The very last section to get through is the Cave of Trials, and it's very easy if you follow this path. Your gear and levels should look something like this if you want to survive. The strategy here is to grab the Heaven's Gate as quickly as possible, and then complete the dungeon while it's still in effect. You should encounter about two battles before you get there. When you do, have Maya defend and Lang use a flag of retreat. There is one forced battle against two gold dukes, but they can be easily taken out with the point card. Just make sure to be fully healed beforehand. If you go quickly, the Heaven's Gate will last for the rest of the dungeon. There are just a few easy puzzles to solve before getting the scroll. After this, Kazan will rejoin the party, and we can now combine the accessories we need to get all of the stat bonus abilities. Here's a list of some of the double bonus accessories that are possible at this point. Our ultimate goal is to forge three double bonus accessories for each character. I recommend saving the following slides using print screen for use while combining. Combining accessories costs a lot of gold, but all of these formulas are as efficient as possible in both number of combines and gold spent per accessory. You'll need about 350,000 gold to make all of these accessories for both Lang and Maya. This is my recommended setup, and the rest of the guide will assume that you're making these accessories. Accessories that must be mastered before being combined are marked with an M. Accessories with abnormal abilities are marked with an asterisk. Mastering the Valor Ring needed to make the Armor Bangle will give it anti-stun, but is not necessary. The next few slides will show you how to combine the component accessories necessary to make these. I won't go into detail on these because that would be incredibly boring. I recommend you save these slides and use them when combining. Just make sure to do the combinations carefully to avoid wasting accessories or save beforehand. Some of the formulas can get rather complicated. In cases where there is no M, mastering an accessory will usually have no effect, but feel free to try it out if you want. Depending on what bonuses you want first, you might want to combine accessories or level up characters in specific orders. The method I'll show starts with HP, MP, Strength, and Defense bonus, and then adds AGL and Men bonus at level 19. There are several ways to level up accessories without gaining character levels, and which one you use depends on preference mostly. Fighting battles in the Hunter's Woods can level up accessories relatively fast as long as you have Feeble Jewels equipped on all characters. Skill experience granted to accessories is based on actions performed and not the level of the enemies that you're fighting. This means accessories get just as much experience here as they will anywhere else. Do this if you like, however the fastest way to level up accessories actually involves the player being AFK anyways. This method works best in Gale Canyon since enemies in the Hunter's Woods tend to run away too quickly. Also, try to avoid fighting Baki when doing this because they will steal items and then run away. The method involves entering a battle and then setting all three characters to defend. On subsequent turns, holding the X button will make all characters defend. Each character gets one skill EXP per defend which is doubled to two with a feeble jewel. Simply tape down the X button or set something heavy on the controller and walk away. All of the enemies here will eventually run away, meaning you still get skill experience, but no normal experience is awarded. In the rare event that an enemy does not run away, defeat it with Kazan after Maya and Len are down. In this way, all necessary accessories can be leveled up without Maya or Len gaining a level. 
I recommend making two sets and then leveling up and making money for more just by playing the game normally. Although this accessory combination is amazing, it may still be possible to get better accessories at this point. Feel free to explore and post any new formulas or accessories in the comments. Make sure to subscribe so I can feed my cat.